Hi guys, here we are in the fourth floor of People's Golf Club and what we'll discuss is timing, tempo and when your swing being too quick and too slow. So tempo is probably one of the most important factors of golf, it's the overall tempo of your swing. And when this happens, it happens in a vicinity of half a second. So if your swing is off, there's a good chance that your tempo is going to be off and that goes along with it. It causes a lot of errors, it can cause miss setting a strike, loss of club head speed. Um, swing path being erratic and also your dispersion rate and things like that but anyway if you the way that you your personality reflects the way you swing the golf club so if you are quite fast talk quite fast you do everything fast then there's a good chance that you are going to swing the club quite fast if you swing the club quite slowly there's a good chance that you're going to have an unhurried swing very rhythmical and you do everything very slow and lethargic but Another thing that happens is we need to start the golf swing with a controlled, rhythmical, relaxed motion of the, the shoulders and the, the arms. If we have excessive movement of the arms and hands, this spells trouble and your swing will go off the radar. So I'm going to hit a shot and this is what I want everyone to do. So timing is, it can either be too quick or too slow. So what I'm going to try and enhanced today is how a good way to think about your your timing so timing is probably the most important aspect of the game of golf so what we need to do to try and understand that is when we take the club back when we move the club away from the ball we want our shoulders to turn in unison at, with the club and as we come back down our hands and arms are working in synchronization with with the, the rotation of the trunk. So a good drill to work on is, if you're struggling with stress and anxiety, what you need to do is take a couple of deep breaths. So three deep breaths, one, two, exhale, blah, blah, blah. And what, what you need to do is have a couple of waggles. Having a couple of waggles will release that tension and endorphins in your body, which could cause a lot of stress. So what we need to do is when we take address the golf ball, what we want to do is take a normal address position but get this right knee, tuck it in the way. What this will do is it'll act, act as a trigger to start the, the whole motion of the golf swing. So we'll kick that right knee in from this position. Nice wee draw up there. And I took my time on that, so the timing was a bit more rhythmical, less hurried. Another thing to work on is, so when the ball position is situated in the middle of our stance, that's where we want to hit the golf ball. I'm going to try and adopt a, a, an alternative method. So what you need to do is take your stance. But see how the golf balls are in the middle of my stance here? What I want to do is start start the, ball, the club in front of the ball. So I'm not going to hit a shot here. What I'm going to do is start the club in front of that golf ball. And if you swing the club quickly, the, swing, take, the swing's over very quickly. So what we need to do is try and move, try and lengthen the backswing by moving our club a little bit further forward at address. So from this position, what I want to do is practice swinging. What this will do is it will slow our overall tempo down and it will increase our timing of the swing. So that's what we need to enhance. So it can be infinitesimal, so it could be a very small thing that can change your swing. But all we need to do is get that in front of the golf ball so we can return in that position. But we want to increase the length, of the, increase the time that we take over the swing. So slow it down. Another thing what that will do is by do, feeling the appreciation of timing from that drill, that'll help you understand the value of timing. So, if you swing the club too quickly, try this drill. So, turn the right knee in to trigger the swing. And that gets the whole motion started. And then we start the club in front of the golf ball. So that'll get us in, that'll get us going to the top a little bit slower. And I'm just gonna hit this golf ball. Strike a little bit pushy, but so there's a couple of things to look at if you're struggling with timing, be too slow or too quickly. If you like what you see, um, subscribe to my channel at Jamie Allen Golf, it's free subscription, or follow me on our two other social media platforms like my Facebook page at Jamie Allen Golf, or follow me on Twitter at Jamie Allen Golf. Thank you.